We're on lesson four of chapter nine, which is an introduction to three-dimensional figures. First, we're going to name prisms and pyramids. Then we're going to classify three-dimensional figures. The first word to learn is polyhedron. A polyhedron is a figure with three dimensions whose faces are all polygons. And this is what we mean by three dimensions. The screen you're looking at only has two dimensions. You can go up and down, or you can go left and right. Three dimensions, on the other hand, have a length which goes side to side, has a width which goes this way, and then it has a height. And that gives it volume or space in the figure. So the polyhedrons are three-dimensional figures. Their faces as well are need to be all polygons. So this would be a face of the polyhedron, as would this be, or the top be. And you notice the face of these figures are all quadrilaterals. We have two different types of polyhedrons then. We have prisms and we have pyramids. A prism is a polyhedron that has two parallel congruent bases. I underline that because that's really important. The bases can be any polygon and the other faces are parallelograms. So for example, in this shape, we have a base right here. And then parallel to that on the bottom, we also have another base. They are exactly the same size as each other, and the faces of this prism are all parallelograms. They are quadrilaterals, or rectangles, you could say. This one also has two bases, the top and the bottom in this case. They are parallel, they are congruent, making it a prism. And then it has parallelograms or rectangles for its faces here. Pyramids are the other type of polyhedron. A pyramid is a polyhedron that only has one base. The base can be any polygon, and the other faces are triangles in this case. So for example, here we have a triangular pyramid because it's a triangular base. And they all come together to point to a vertex at the top because there's no base on the top. And because it does that, triangles are formed. Same here, we have a rectangular pyramid here. They all meet up at the vertex and they form triangles up to that vertex. So now we need to name these prisms and pyramids. It says identify the bases and faces of each figure, then name the figure. Since this is a rectangular pyramid, you'll notice that there's actually parallel bases here and here. You could also have the front and the back of the prism, or you could do the top and the bottom. Most people choose for their base the top and the bottom because it makes sense that the base is on the bottom. So that's what we'll do here. You notice that that's a rectangular base. So for base, we'll say rectangles. For the faces, we're also going to say rectangles. I'm not sure if that's a square or not, so we're just going to say rectangle because that's definitely a rectangle right there. So the faces will say rectangles. Then we're going to call this a rectangular prism. We call it a rectangular prism because it has rectangular bases. The base is what gives the shape its name. For this one, I notice there's only one base, and then it all meets at the vertex. So because it's a base, it makes it a pyramid. The base itself is a rectangle. So we'll say base is a rectangle. And since it's a pyramid, the faces are all triangles. As we name this pyramid, we're going to call it a rectangular pyramid because the base is a rectangle. You might be tempted to say pyramid on this one. You say that this is the base and that's the vertex. But all the points don't meet at one vertex. You actually see that I have a triangle here and a triangle here. This triangle is congruent to this triangle and it's also parallel to this one, meaning that this is a prism. The base of this prism are triangles then. The faces are going to be three rectangles, so we'll say rectangles. As we name it, we're going to say triangular prism. This last one I see only has one base because they all point to a vertex, making it a pyramid. The base is a five-sided figure, making it a pentagon. So we'll say base is a pentagon. 
Since it's a pyramid, the faces are going to be triangles. Then as we name this figure, we'll say it's a pentagonal pyramid. Not all three-dimensional figures are polyhedrons. The following figures here, for example, are not polyhedrons because they are not made of faces that are all polygons. You notice the cylinder is kind of like a prism because it has two parallel bases that are circles. However, you'll notice that it doesn't have any faces. It's just a circular face, and that's what makes it a cylinder. A cone kind of looks like a pyramid, except that since its base is circular at the bottom, it actually has no faces either. It all meets at that vertex, but there's no distinguished faces on this cone either. A sphere doesn't really have a base at all. It actually has a center point in the middle that all points in the circle are the same distance from that center point. So as we see these, we'll be able to label them as well. So for these figures, we need to classify each of them as a polyhedron or not a polyhedron. Then we can name the figure. So for this figure, I see distinguished faces all around. So we're going to say this is a polyhedron. Now what is this shape? I don't see all the points meeting up at one spot, meaning that it's not a pyramid. I see a triangular base right here with a parallel congruent triangular base right here, making it a triangular prism. Here I see a circular base. I see a parallel circular base on top, making this a cylinder. And I know a cylinder is not a polyhedron. Then I'm going to call this a cylinder. This kind of has the shape of a pyramid, but it's not because it doesn't have any faces. Since it doesn't have any faces, it's not a polyhedron. Then we're going to call this one a cone because it has a circular base and it all meets at a vertex.